Dr. Kathy, divorce is the only option for a cheater. Well, thank you for this comment. Did you know, it might surprise you to know this, that 75% of people reconcile after having or experiencing an affair? 75%, that means three out of four, right? I guarantee you that there are people in your life that have experienced an affair and have stayed together. And you might be thinking, oh, that's just because, you know, they're financially dependent or their kids, they had to stay, they didn't want to stay. That's not true either. A lot of people love their partners who have cheated. And a lot of cheating partners love their spouses that they cheated on. And you may think this is totally wild, but it's true. And our research on over 6,000 people shows that this is true. Now, is 6,000 people a ton of people? No, but it's one of the largest surveys ever done on people who have strayed or been cheated on. So if you think that everybody should divorce after an affair, then I think that maybe you should rethink this because most people don't want to. Most people can and do heal from affairs. They just don't talk about it because it's shameful. It's embarrassing because most people tell them stuff like this, that they're lazy, weak, stupid, whatever, if they wanna stay with somebody who cheated on them. But if you've ever been in this situation, you know how complex it is. Someone that you love very much has also hurt you profoundly. But if you can find the compassion and strength in yourself to work with them and try to heal from this, you absolutely can. And you can have a better relationship on the other side of an affair than you did before. Okay, hope that helps.